Hi. Today we, we will be talking about why, when, and how you prune your durian trees. So, why do you prune your trees? It is very important to keep the tree interior air ventilated. So, when there's a strong wind, it won't catch the wind and fall down. And when it is well ventilated, it won't get sick easily. Here's the consequences if you don't prune your tree properly. Take a look at the example. You can see the trunk over there. It is very twisted. You can see these two snakes is here to support the tree. When they bear fruit, the whole trunk itself, the branch itself, will become very heavy. If you don't support it, it will break. So that, that one over there is another example. You can see the branch over there is is obviously not balanced. If you don't support it, it will fall right away. So when do you do pruning? Uh, ideally, you, you want to do twice a year. So the tree won't go out of shape. And twice a year is a least least minimal amount you have to do lah because you might have other works have to do inside the durian plantation itself such as uh, fertilization, cutting off the weeds so twice a year is an ideal number yeah. so let me show you how to cut the uh, useless branches here you can see all these small branches all these small branches you can cut it away the, 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 main, the main point of doing this is to keep the tree inside is well ventilated so you can see here there's no extra branches near the inside of the tree so it is well ventilated, it won't catch a wind and the other branches, the main branches, can go stronger as well so let me show you uh, what other branches you can cut here is there any specific type of branch you cut? Like, does it depend or you just cut all those that are inside? specific types, those that are looks uh, younger and weaker okay. so obviously all this you don't cut because it becomes uh, the main support for the tree and all this you, you can see this is the main one so this is not necessary or you can cut yep, all this so if it's thicker and larger then we don't necessarily cut it yep. if it's already a main support yep. so you can see around here the branches is too close so you have to see, usually you cut the middle one, here is the strong one and the above is another, usually you cut this one Take a look at this one So this, this tree very close, you can see this two is stronger, this one It is, it looks, yeah, it looks like a little bit smaller, you can see yeah, And even, yeah, even if you don't cut it out, it will dry off itself one. So. You can cut it off. So, how another thing is how do you choose is you don't want to keep the branches on one side. So you can see left and right is a well balanced number of branches. All right. So you can see uh, this is the main branches from the uh, main trunk. So. The dog actually. So these are the the small stem that grow from the secondary stem. You can see it is growing inside the tree itself, so it can catch some wind. What if do you mean by it growing up. inside the tree? Mm, you can see right right here, you can see it's empty. Ah. You can see it's empty. Here it is very crowded. So I think it's close to the main tree trunk. Yeah, yeah. You you want the interior inside there is uh uh there's less 
branches and leaves. Okay, possible. So you cut off this one. This one. And then this one. Okay. And then for this is far enough so you don't yeah, cut yeah. it off. So it will grow outside there Why? so it, it won't disrupt the inside. So you can see here is more cleaner now. Alright, let me show you another types of branches here you will cut. Alright, you can see this here is the main branches, but this one is uh, growing downward instead of upward. So usually this this we will cut this branches because even if it grows it won't have it, it won't bear any fruit. So I cut it off. In short here are all the why, when and how to prune a durian tree.